name is Stuart Armstrong with Landmark Healthcare Facilities. Landmark Healthcare is the developer, constructor, and manager of the TGH Brandon Healthplex. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the facility through the emergency department, outpatient surgical center, and upper physician office spaces within the facility. Here we're standing in the front lobby of the building. This is going to be the main entrance point for all the patients that come into the facility. Right over my right shoulder here, we have the area that's going to be the Healthplex Cafe, serving coffee and some light food services. And then down at the very end of this corridor, we have the retail pharmacy. The pharmacy for the facility will support the emergency department, the surgical platform, and the community physicians. As patients enter the facility, the patients have the option of conveniently checking in at some kiosks that will be located over here on this decorative wall. From that point, they have the ease of access to the elevator bank to go up to the physician offices that they intend to see. Follow me, we're gonna enter into the emergency department. Uh, you then come into the nurse station. Uh, we have exam rooms that are down this hall off to the left. As you move this way through the nurse station, we have exam rooms that wrap the facility down this wall uh, and then back on the back wall of the facility as well. We'll end up finishing off each one of these entrances into the rooms with a glass door uh, with curtains to be able to screen them off for patient privacy. In each of the 22 exam rooms in the emergency department, we're capable of seeing adults and pediatrics. Each room is set up with a full array of head wall assortments. We've got power on the bottom. We've got med gas on the top. Uh, we'd have the location for the patient bed in the middle of the room. We have ample space for visitors to come and see the patient. Again, each room is a private room. We'll have a door. We'll have privacy curtains. Um, and this is how each one of the rooms are set up within the ED. The emergency department is set up for patients to enter by foot at the entrance that we had just came from. Um, but right now we're going to head towards the entrance where patients will be dropped off by ambulance. Here we're standing at the entrance from the ambulance drop off uh, coming into where the nurse station is over here on the right. And then also on this side here, we have two imaging rooms that support the ED. We have a radiology room and we have a CT both of which were also shared with the imaging department on the other side of those rooms. Patients coming to the outpatient surgical center will walk off the elevator bank behind me into the waiting room for the surgery center. The surgery center here is set up with six operating rooms, two endoscopy rooms, and is set up to see adults and pediatrics alike. We're now in the area where patients will come to get prepped for the surgeries. Each one of these rooms is set up to be multifunctional, where you have the capability for not only the prep of the surgery, but also for these rooms to serve for recovery when the patients would come out of surgery. Each one of these operating rooms is 600 plus square feet. They're designed that large to be able to handle a multitude of outpatient procedures for adults and pediatrics. Um, each one of these rooms will end up having two light booms, one equipment boom and one monitor boom that hang from the ceiling. One of the special features of these rooms is that we have natural light capabilities. Uh, not only do we have natural light capabilities, we also have the ability to close that off and black out the room as well. The upper two floors of the facility will have physician office space consisting of primary care and specialty physicians. To enhance the views on the south end of the building, the lower roof will actually be dressed out with a green roof garden. We find ourselves right now in the TGMG suite on the third floor. Um, this suite was just released to construction and will be part of what will go live when the rest of the facility goes live in 2017.